Welcome everyone. Welcome to our liturgy for this week here at CBC, in our CBC family. And today I invite you just to calm down for a few moments, to break away from the activity, and just to reflect on what are the more important things in our lives. I invite you to enter and to, and to listen and to participate. Welcome back boys and girls. This week our liturgy is on, it's called the lockdown liturgy and I think under the circumstances where we find ourselves it's such an appropriate song to start our liturgy with. It's called in moments like these, yes in even in these moments we can sing out the love song to Jesus. So I invite you to sing with me. In moments I sing out a song, I sing out a love song to Jesus. In moments like these, I sing out a song, I sing out a love song to Him. Our Bible reading comes from the prophet Isaiah and in this reading we hear so beautifully how the Lord never ever ever forgets his people. Sometimes we think that the Lord has abandoned us, it's not true. There's such a beautiful um, story that we hear of this man walking on the beach and every time he sees that the Lord is with them and he sees two sets of, two sets of footprints and a moment arrives when he only sees one set of footprints and he and he judges God and he says, Lord, where were you? And that's a time when the Lord said to him, but that's a time I was carrying you. 
And that's exactly what the Lord is doing to us. He carries us during the times of need. He doesn't abandon us. He will never forget about the people He's chosen as His own, which is us. It doesn't mean we are perfect. It means we are sinners, but that's fine. We make many mistakes. That's also fine. The Lord does not abandon us. Let us listen to this reading, and we hear one of our girls, our school girls, will proclaim this reading for us. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Lord said to his people, When the time comes to save you, I will show you favor and answer your cries for help. I will guard and protect you, and through you make a covenant with all peoples. I will let you settle once again in your land that is now laid waste. Seeing heaven, shout for joy. Let the mountains burst into song. The Lord will comfort his people. He will have pity on his suffering people. But the people of Jerusalem said, the Lord has abandoned us. He has forgotten us. So the Lord answers, Can a woman forget her own baby and not love the child she bore? Even if a mother should forget a child, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. If you thought we only have lockdown, I'll share with you two of the most famous lockdown stories in the Bible. The first one is about Noah, Noah and the ark. And the second one we're going to listen to is about Jonah, Jonah and the well. And please, I'm not talking about the Emanuela version of Jonah, the proper version of Jonah. So I invite you to listen carefully. In the story of Noah, there was a flood of water that was coming to kill many people in the world. God asked Noah to build an ark to protect them. There were eight people that were saved in the ark. God asked Noah to take in one pair of each type of animal with them into the ark. Noah, his family and the animals were in lockdown for a long time in the ark while the rain fell down. Jonah and the whale. God asked Jonah to go to a town called Nineveh to speak to them. Jonah did not want to go and tried to run away. While on sea, Jonah was swallowed by a whale and was in lockdown in the tummy for many days. In the end, God helped him and he listened to God and Nineveh. After having listened to these beautiful stories in the Bible, we're now going to sing a song that reminds us of what our real purpose is. As Jonah had to go out, even doubting God, even doubting in how good he can do the service to the Lord, he went out to go and announce the good news, to go out and talk to people, to build up the body of Christ. So now we're going to sing the song which is Building Up the Temple. Building up the temple, come and help little boys, come and help little girls, come and help all the families, come and help even you who think you are not good enough, even you who think you are weak, come and help, because all of us can make a big difference in this world. So I invite you to listen. Oh boy. 
boys come, help little girls. We are building up the temple for the Lord. After having listened to these two beautiful stories in the Old Testament of Jonah and Noah, we now go to the New Testament and we hear about another lockdown story. And this time it's the apostles who find themselves in the upper room for a few days afraid. Afraid, very, very afraid. Are we not like that sometimes, that we are afraid whether at school or at work, but many problems that we have. But then the Lord comes and He strengthens them. God sends the Holy Spirit to help the apostles to go out not being afraid and to talk about the good news, to talk about Jesus. And often that is for us also. We need this Holy Spirit just to change our heart, to give us the strength to go out and to do good, to love the other one. The Apostles at Pentecost After Jesus went up to heaven, the Apostles were scared. They were in lockdown in a room for nine days, hiding away, but God sent them the Holy Spirit to make them strong. They came out of the room and went to spread the good news about Jesus all over the world. I'm sure that there are many of you who like to play with paper and to make paper figures to represent things. But now we're going to do a little demonstration just to see and to experience what it is like during this time of lockdown. So I want you to watch us carefully. Welcome back boys and girls. Today I want to tell a little story about this time of lockdown and maybe it's a, it's a small help, it's a small help for us. You have a piece of paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. And I want you to think about all the things that we have been missing out on during this time of, of lockdown. Now I have a little representation of some of the things and yeah, I want you to use your imagination. This is a little ship, a little yacht, a eh? little boat on the sea. And this reminds us of how, how long ago were you at the beach? How long ago was I at the beach? So during lockdown, we couldn't go to the, we couldn't go to the beach. What else? During lockdown, we had to stay for weeks upon weeks in our, in our homes. Eh? We couldn't go out. We had to stay inside all the time. It's not easy eh, to spend all this time with the same people. It's not easy. Eh? So we couldn't go to the beach. We had to stay in our we had to stay in our homes. What are the other things? And I'm sure that for many, for many parents, this is something very important because many parents work and many parents travel a lot. And when they travel, they have to take. Do you remember what they have to take? You see this comes out nicely. You still remember this? They take a, they take a, a flight. Eh? And during this time of lockdown, we couldn't even fly. We couldn't fly anywhere. Eh? So these are the things that, that we couldn't do. We couldn't go to the beach. We had to stay in our homes. We couldn't even fly to go visit our family, to go on a holiday. Those are all the things that we missed out on. What else? This is my representation of, and use imagination a little bit, of the church. We couldn't go to church. We couldn't go to church during this time. 
And that's something very important for us because we are God-fearing people. We love to go. To, we love to go to God. We love to go to church. Okay, so but we didn't have the opportunity to go to church. And what happened during this time? The church was now in our in our homes. The church was now in our homes, where we as families began to pray together and spend quality quality time together. So in every bad situation, there's always good that comes out of it. And the other thing during this time is something very important. All of us had to make sacrifices. All of us. Hey, our pocket money, we couldn't go to the shops. We couldn't buy something nice. Hey, we couldn't go to the, to the restaurant. We couldn't go. So we had to make sacrifices. So what type of the sacrifices we made? Think about it. What we had to give up? So we cut out. So we cut out our pocket money, maybe. We cut out visiting our friends, we cut out going to the restaurant, we cut out going to the, to the cinema. But remember, the things we sacrifice, we do it for the good of someone else. And whenever we do something for the good of someone else, now that's called the love of God. That is how much God loves us, you and, and me. Hey, that is doing something for someone else. And what does that remind us of? And I want you to think about today. Eh? What does that remind us of? See what we end up with if we make our sacrifices. If we cut, we end up with having Jesus Christ. This is the love that Jesus Christ is bringing for us. And I hope that during this time, we can show... I invite all of us now just to say a special prayer for all the little ones out there who are sick, all the families who are going through difficult times, but we pray especially for those who find themselves alone in hospitals these days, you know, locked down, not able to see their families, especially the children, we think about them. It's so important to have mommy and daddy around, but sometimes the kids, because of circumstances, they have to be alone. So we pray for them in a very, a very special way. During this time, also say a special prayer for the elderly who end up in hospital and often they are alone. So tonight, pray for them, pray for your grannies, pray for your grandpas and for all those people who are in hospital during this time. Notice how this little baby is sleeping. This little baby is also in lockdown. In lockdown because he must be away from the noise and they give him clean air and all those things so the baby can get better. Notice how nicely he's sleeping. In a, in a few hours he'll be out of his sleep and they'll take him out and he will join his mommy and his daddy. Now we're going to listen to one of the favorite songs here at the college. The song speaks about how the Lord Jesus allows us to go out and to talk about his name and just to proclaim the good news. And this, talking to other people about Jesus, brings us an immense joy. It's not something crazy. It really brings us an immense joy. And whether we do this as individuals or families, it doesn't matter. As long as we take that small step just to talk about Jesus. So I invite you to listen. Ka 
One of the positive things that came out of this time of lockdown was the quality time that families were able to spend together. Daddies and mommies being able to spend time with the kids, helping them with the schoolwork, finding time to pray together. That's always special. So even out of a bad situation, God comes and He draws something beautiful. So we have to thank God for that. Boys and girls, I also want you to give a big hug to mommies and daddies who during this time of lockdown has helped you with your schoolwork, they gave up their time, and I know sometimes it gets a lot, I know sometimes they shout and sometimes they complain, sometimes you shout and sometimes you complain, but remember, this is a very special time. It may never ever happen again that you have to do schoolwork at home all the time. The time of lockdown is almost finished. It's almost time to go back to school. So give them a big hug and say big thank you to all of them. And I think the most important thing that we can do as families is to pray together. So remind yourselves, remind mommy and daddy that we have to pray together, not only during this time, but always. And God bless us all. Thank you so much everybody for, for listening and watching to our presentation, this liturgy for this week. We hope that in a small way it can help us just to reflect and to bring the best out of not just ourselves, but bring the best out of others as well. So just a reminder, do good to somebody. And that is how we can bring Jesus Christ to everyone, to the whole world, even in our neighborhood or just even in our families. Give your sister a hug, even though she irritates you. Just give her a hug and that will be good enough. So have a blessed day. everyone now we're going to sing that song there's nobody like jesus we spoke about that story about the boat this rich guy had a boat he had all these beautiful things he had the house he had the jet he had everything in his life all the money but he wasn't happy because he lacked one thing and that cross which represents jesus so there's nobody like jesus let's sing one of our favorite favorite songs here at the college i invite you to sing with me Okay, so really sing it out and sing it all for Jesus. Ahuna ya tswana ni Jesu, ahuna ya tswana na ye, ahuna ya tswana ni Jesu, ahuna ya tswana na ye. Yeah.
Jesus. Let us never forget that.